Hey guys, this is Jack from FPV Academy and in this video we're going to show you guys exactly how to set up your Headplay FPV goggles if you did purchase it along with the FPV Academy quadcopter kits. So you have your quad, it's ready to go almost, you built it and now you finally want to fly FPV but you don't know how to get this thing um, to connect on the same frequency or you don't even know how it works. So this video should simplify that entire process. Stay tuned. So these are the head plague FPV goggles. Now these are really nice goggles. They're more the premium um, version of goggles, the bigger ones. Um, you know, if you are looking for a big set of goggles that is premium quality, these are probably the most premium ones that you are going to get. And they are just really, really nice goggles. So in the box, you would have gotten these little pieces of foam. And I will show you now where you can put those on if you haven't already. Um, if you turn the goggles around, you'll see that you can just stick it on there and it'll make it a little bit more comfy to put on your head. Then also you got these little ones and these little ones also just go on the sides and that also just helps a bit of comfort. So once you have those sticked on there, we can then grab the battery. Okay, before we grab the battery, we want to put on our antenna. So it did come with its own antenna. Um, it's just a big long one. It's not a good antenna at all. The nice thing is that all the FPV Academy quadcopter kits come with a set of Luminear Axie antennas. So you can grab the other one that is not on your quad and you can just screw that onto the head play goggles. So then you have a really nice antenna and you will get a really nice clear signal. So finally, once you have that, this little cable that comes out of here, this is what you use to power up your goggles. So you can plug this in and then you'll see that it lights up. So once it's been lit up, um, you'll see that it's on number seven now. And if you press it really quickly, that is how you change the channel from one to eight. So if I change that very quickly, you'll see that it goes up one to eight. If you hold it in a bit longer, it jumps to the next one. So you saw it was flick flickering the number three. Now it's on uh, frequency number three and channel one to eight on frequency number three. If you hold it in a bit longer, it just showed number four. And then now it's on number four and you can do the same eight again. Now this goggles, they do come with the frequency table. I will put it on screen right here. Um, this is the frequency table that you need to have with you almost at all times um, when you are going to go out and use these goggles to fly. Um, that is the frequencies that you need to tune into when flying FPV and when flying with friends. Now the final feature that is really nice on these set of goggles, let me plug in my quadcopter to show you guys. You'll see that I have a prop showing on screen there. Um, that's me plugging in my quad. Now I am plugged in, I am powered up, so you should be able to get a signal. So if you hold this button in for longer than five seconds, then it will scan all the frequencies. You'll see how it's gonna go scanning there now. And it actually already picked up my signal. So that is me in the goggles from the side. It's a little bit of inception. Um, that over there is a camera that's filming this actual video. But you can now see me in this video. And, oh wow, that just uh, went bad. That's probably just because um, my battery died on my um, quad. But that's how you connect your um, video to your FPV goggles and that's how you set up the Headplay HDs. Now uh, in the next video I am going to be showing you how to set up the same frequency and this uh, frequency on your goggles. So if you want to see that then click on the link that we'll be showing at the end of this video. If you have any other questions on setting up your Headplay HDs let me know in the comment section below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching this video and I'll catch you in the next one.